What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Bungo Stray Dogs. It warms my heart just getting to say that with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting it and missing it back in action. Well, here it is. Now, remember, if you guys don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description, get that free full length, come back here for the review once you're done. And if you enjoyed that format and want to continue it for the rest of season four on to season five, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when we post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on this season. No time wasted. Uh, episode one of season four is called The Lone Swordsman and the Famous Detective. Detective. Let's do it. All right, here we go. It's been a very long time since I've heard this style of opening. This is the story of one man's struggles and his growth and of parenting. If I had to assume who the lone swordsman could be, I'd always assume Fukuzawa. I think the volume's a little low. Urges result in killing. The truth behind. <laughs> okay. So a lady presumed dead, pushed out of a window. Oh, that was a lady. Excuse me. I wonder if this guy is the detective in terms of the title. I thought it was a woman, it's a dude for sure. Interesting. President took me in. Okay. So we already have our suspect? Okay. They're very meticulously put there on the ground. That's fine. We can just jump beautifully over them and vault, somersault, flip gracefully. We've always known Fukuzawa was that guy, but, you know. I don't want to pause it off rip, but I love flashbacks because of how they connect, and it's such a big, expansive world, but it's such a small world at the same time. I was just thinking, relating to this, I was like, hey, are we going to get a whole Fukuzawa flashback arc? I would love so, because the last one we got, Design Oda, great, and we got Oda with the dual pistols with the gun foo. Now it's bringing me back to that fight with fucking Jeed and all that. And oh, and the fucking kids in the boat. It's crazy how a show can do that, you know? And just, ah. Now, a lot of characters in the show look very similar to other characters, so I don't ever assume they're who they are until I get their name, you know? Like, I assumed this was Rampo, you know? But I don't, the outfit just looks like it should be in My Hero Academia, you know? He's just walking on him. Jesus. And the wind's gonna blow all of them. This is one thing I... L said heavy with the stamp and stuff. This is one thing I love that uh, Bungo Stray Dogs does with artistic creativity in terms of everything being black and white, but the blue outline on the characters like they've done with other... Oh, I love it so much. This... This is most definitely Rampo with this explanation he's giving right here. Who was always just like, what's going on? All valid points. Okay, solid rebuttal from Fukuzawa. Fukuzawa's like, damn, I'm running out of points. It's all making sense. I'm very. I like how cold and stoic he is right now. Oda's got no emotion. 
And he's got the mobility. <laughs> he's got the movement for sure. We know this man is such a legend. The child assassin so famous in the underground. With the double guns pop because he landed on it with his hands behind the back. He's so clean with it. Lost his footing. Who was always taking advantage? No, he didn't. And he's good. Bro, not even 10 minutes. Oh, okay, we're like a little bit, but we're, we're fucking, this is right back to Bungo. No fucking holds bar. He is so dead. You think Oda's missing that shot? Oh my God. He like sweet. Probably the moment he walked in. Yeah. Ooh. I can feel him. The, 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 yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. See, like I said, I don't ever assume until I hear the name because characters look alike. And I get voice actors wrong all the time. But I love Ramble so much. I love how this is how they met. This is just a going on thing with Rampo. Oh. You're trying to manipulate us? What do you want us to give you more? My card. Yeah, call us. I'll give you a job. The first time or so. You scratched my back, I got you. I owe you. Is what that is right there. He calls you within five seconds. See, I love how they're doing this flashback artistically, like the lack of color, just letting us know visually. The day is a dream, the night is real. I might want to see that. Seems like an interesting story. The angels shall bring true death upon the performers. Oh, that is creepy. V. I didn't realize at this point Rampo is 14, but Rampo is still very much him. That's so funny. Mm. Fukuzawa was that kind of person. But Rampo's always getting to the bottom of everything. Exposing something. It makes, it makes it so much more amazing how he works for the ADA and he's so, such an amazing fit here, you know? I feel like I recognize this voice actor too. Not necessarily from old Bungo seasons, but... He's the, the main guy. He's the star. Practically a one-man show, like they said, you know. Faceless assassin punishes Warhawks. They go by those news articles so fast, man. I never get a chance to read them. He's got a point. It is much more of a declaration. Yeah, so finding their motivation seems even harder. So then what is that? From the very beginning. I would think the same thing. There's something different about this boy. I mean, it would make sense. That's the world he knows, breathes, and lives in, you know? I mean, it's understandable for a kid of his intellectual level, you know? I love diving into that, the, the heads, you know? Let's get a deep dive. Or quid pro quo. Ooh, with the cut at the beginning, yeah. 
He's directing it to a direct incident? Pro war bureaucrats and overseas military cliques were found dead. Bro, that shot looks... Jesus. I mean... Okay, and I don't know if this was supposed to be like this. Obviously, they're both great detectives, but if you guys remember... And this is a not direct reference, but... In the Sherlock Holmes movies, because it's the Sherlock Holmes show and obviously the old Sherlock Holmes books, but the Sherlock Holmes movies with Robert Downey Jr. when um, uh, Watson's wife, I forget her name, is doing the same thing that Fukuzawa just did to Rampo, where he's where she's like, you're a great detective. You have this. You have the eyes of the truth. You can see this. So many things we can't see. Do the same to me. And then halfway through, you start to realize the unsavory and unfavorable things that they're picking up on and starting to say and and they are the truth and they, and the same thing and like she was furious Fukuzawa was furious and i'm just like damn i could have called that you know i could have seen that coming i feel bad he obviously pushed something in Fukuzawa that has not been pushed in a minute i never thought that rampo would be the one to make Fukuzawa not be alone a loner anymore you know a wandering swordsman god damn that was a great first episode of the season all right we're on to the next episode this one is called the day is a dream and the night is real and the last episode being the famous sword or the wandering swordsman and the famous detective makes so much more sense now i'm loving these titles but it has begun okay i like how even the play we're watching is somewhat of a murder mystery itself you know the angel show. Oh, okay. Who death? He. Angels. Hida. Oh. I can't lie, though, for visual play, like on stage performance, this is really cool. Ooh. That's not fucking uh, Natsume, is it? Oh, not everyone knows about the end except. God damn it, Rampo! Rampo! It's actually the opposite. Something that you get that everyone else doesn't. That would be insanely frustrating as a child, you know? Little does he know. Oh, most definitely. He's very straightforward and blunt about it, but he's telling him what he needs to know, you know? Need to be controlled, exactly. Damn. In some shows or in worlds, they call it blessed, special, chosen. I like that, and I love how it always relates to Fukuzawa's all men are created equal, his power of actually allowing his subordinates to control their powers a little bit more, but... You always think of powers as these amazing things, and a lot of shows will show you, and different pieces of media will show you the downsides and the cons of having it. But certain ones, they say, oh, there's no cons to having. There's no con and, and Rampo's would probably be, even though he technically... It's, it's, I don't think it's an actual power. It's more of just his pure, raw intelligence. Um, most people wouldn't consider Rampo as one of those where it's conless. You know, it's nothing but benefits, but I would have never thought about it from the perspective that he does. Especially being a 14-year-old child, it makes so sense, so much sense, you know? Where you immediately, you are seeing 2 plus 2 equals 4. Everyone around you is acting like it's 5. But for some reason, you do not know why they are acting like this. And you think they're all in on it. You all, you think they're, you're the, the odd one out because you're the only one who, but it's just because, and it's so weird to think about. I never would have thought that someone who's as smart as him would be put in that kind of perspective, you know, that kind of situation. This is when he gives him the famous glasses. Now, now obviously he's insanely smart. 
But I think this is purely placebo, right? I think he's just telling him this to make him believe this, but it's, he needed to believe this just to make it happen, you know? I, they're probably... I wonder if him screaming like that actually has anything to do with his all men are created equal. I don't think Rampo has the actual ability, you know? So I think it's just a placebo. Gifted detective. I love it. You're the world's best detective. Hell yeah. I think we all need to take that as a lesson, you know? People aren't really looking out to hurt us, you know? Everyone's just living their lives being a stupid idiot, you know? Open your mind, accept the glasses, control your power. Open your mind. Oh, oh, I love the way they changed the color of the lenses, and now we have like full color, you know. We can see clear as day now. His mind has been opened. He's a different man now. He's got a newfound confidence. All right, Rampo, chill out, buddy. This is why, okay, now in the first episode, we're going to say this is about a man determining, discovering his own path, the seventh third, and about parenting. He's a, he's, this is what he does. He protects his babies. He considers the whole world his stupid little babies. <laughs> He's like, watch what happens. Watch the dominoes fall. I already seen how it's going to play out, so I'm intrigued. Hell yeah. Damn. Wait, that was just the opening, right? I think that was just the opening. I actually do like the performance of this, though. With the blood and the wings, everything. The LED monitors and all them behind him. See, I would have been... I would have been actually scared, though, if I was Fukuzawa. Damn, he's a good method actor. Real blood. What the hell is going on? I thought we were going to prevent the murder, but maybe we're going to use it now i'm double intrigued i was like okay but no i'm right next to you yeah he's talking about rampo oh no oh natsumi oh i mean he turned into a cat and left that's how they didn't notice but and here comes our leading detective, Deus Ex Machina. Don't exist. Okay. 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 Yes, please. Which is... He's gonna come up from under the blanket? Mmm... The best detective. Anytime Rampo does this, and it's been so many times, I'm always impressed to the ends of the earth. Interesting. Method acting. The pinnacle of acting. This guy's a crazy man. You did it all for them, right? 
客にこんな顔をさせることが本当に<gasps> 演劇を極めるってことになるのかな Valid point. At the end of the day, the audience decides, right? Yeah. For yourself and not for them. That's a truly disgraced actor, if I do say so myself. Like, he's jumping into police arms, right? That's not high enough for any sort of suicide, right? That was only like 15 feet, 10 feet max. Oh. I just love how he just runs with it. Like, if it was always like, what kind of monster have I made? That's hilarious. And now he's so convinced he's gifted that he can't even be told the actual truth. Fukuzawa, you have made a monster. That's hilarious. Now, yep, he's convinced. <laughs> I'm with a Rambo now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now I just want to see uh, Fukuzawa talk to Natsume and develop that a little more. Okay, good. He's still right there, the actor. Just making sure. Rambo is hilarious. <laughs> I always enjoyed him just thoroughly, but I like him so much more now after that little mini arc. So even Actor Boy is not the full mastermind. Don't tell me those. Don't tell me the stage rights like Mori or something. Is the fuck? Is that Mori, bro? That smile looked just like Mori. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, uh, oh my lord! <laughs> Those were two really good first episodes in season four. I am thoroughly enjoying this so far. I love Fukuzawa as a character, as a leader, as a man in general. His honor, you know, those stoic always willing to do the right things even if it costs you your life kind of people and i love how it he you can tell he's been a huge influence on the rest of the ada but now we get to see a little bit of that like we've always got tidbits here and there and we've known little snippets of his backstory but oh i love getting more of it and how it includes rampo thoroughly enjoy him as a character how it gets deeper how ooh, the story gets so deep i thought it was gonna be one of those closed off all said and done st stories like they do in Bungo Stray Dogs and we're gonna get the bad guy. It's all gonna be over like, ha ha ha, you know, but no, 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 no. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm assuming the police officer at the end was Mori Uga and uh, cannot wait to see more about the Port Mafia, assuming that's him. Like I said, I don't know, always ever assume until I see the name. Love seeing Rampo, love seeing Fukuzawa. Very curious to find out what happens next. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.